going on YouTube? We back at it again with another banger video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about gun safes, the purpose of it, why you should own one. And hey, enough talk. Let's get into the video. Guys, I know it's been a little minute. Um, you know, I dropped a post uh, not too long ago, you know, talking about why I've been absent pretty much the past two weeks. Um, I'm a barber and last week was completely crazy and I really just didn't have time uh, to drop any vids. But um this is one of these vids I, I've been wanting to cook up for y'all and, you know, talk about the purpose of safe and stuff like that. And so uh, let's get into it. Now, this video is sponsored by Blacksmith. This is the safe um, that we actually have in the video today. I'm going to break this uh, safe down and um, show you guys all the contents of it. Um, and I will link the safe in the description. All right. Uh, this can be found on Amazon, but you don't have to go search it up. I'm just going to drop it. Um, in the description, you can click that link and you can check it out for yourself. Um, after I show you guys this safe, I'm going to show you guys my own personal safe um, that I purchased uh, with my own money that holds all of my firearms. Now, gun safes. All right, listen, it's something very, very important. I feel like everybody should own one. Um, we're going to get into all the nitty gritty and talk about, you know, the different purposes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and review the contents of this safe. All right. So this blacksmith safe, as you can see, it's a very nice size safe. Um, it's not steel. OK, it is uh, some type of like very, very hard aluminum. So I feel like this would be great for someone that's just trying to get something really quick. You know, you got a couple pistols, maybe a little cash and you might be in an apartment or a house, however you want to do it. And something that you have out of sight, you know, I wouldn't necessarily leave this in sight um, because of the size. But what I would do is something you could put in a closet, something hey, if you wanted to have like a, uh, you know, do some some crazy work, put it in a wall and, you know, have like a picture frame to hide it or whatever you want to do. You know, if you want to make it look Batman and like like some Batman gadget stuff and <laughs> you want to uh, conceal it like that, hey, be my guest. But um. This is the safe right here. Uh, quickly, this safe has a, uh, a digital pad where you can use the uh, the numbers for the code. Um, it also has a uh, hidden compartment right here where you can use a key. All right. So if the batteries were to go out, you can also use the key. And the third option is the fingerprint scanner. OK, so you can actually use your thumbprint to open this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I have it, yep, and boom. All right, and there you go, your safe is open. Now, within the safe, um, as you can see, it's really, really good space, okay? You have some nice space in there. Um, it comes with some other content, some stuff you can uh, actually mount this thing to a wall. All right, so you got that as well. Um, really, really nice space. Like I said before, uh, this would be great, you know, for something in the office. Um, you know, uh, any personal, you know, space that you got and you want to keep things out of reach of people or children, um, you can't go wrong with it. Um, I really, I really, really like the feature of the thumbprint. Um, I know some people be like, uh, what if this happens? What if that happened? I'm gonna be honest. You got keys too, and you got a code. So you really can't uh, go wrong with it. All right. And now this safe does take batteries. Um, you will place the batteries simply um, in here. Uh, the setup process is very, very easy. It's simple. Um, and when you get the safe, uh, you'll see all the instructions and it's pretty much straightforward. It took me probably under, I say under 10 minutes to set everything up. That's my code fingerprint. And, you know, of course, figuring out <laughs> how to use the keys. Um, it also features a light on the inside. Uh, it was just on temporarily. So it has a light so you can see as well. But that is the safe by uh, Blacksmith. Um, once again, it will be linked. Um, and I highly do. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, very nice safe. And, you know, you're not going to have to spend, you know, $500 on a safe. Now, let's get into the next one. All right. So my next safe is the safe that I hold all, pretty much all of my firearms in, especially when I'm away from home. Um, like I said, this one is more something I'm going to use into my, uh, my office because I do have a safe that I hold my, my firearms in at home already, but this is something that I'll have in my, uh, in my shop. 
Uh, I ain't mean to say office, but I guess it is like an office space. But in my uh, my barber shop, something I use like that. But let's go ahead and get it to the big one. All right, so as you can see, this is my gun safe. It's by Redfield. Um, and I just want to compare and contrast so you can see the difference in safes. Um, something like this would cost you around a little over $300 um, after taxes. This is a uh, pretty big safe. This is steel. Um, it's coated to be fireproof up to uh, 40, 40 minutes. So your guns and stuff would be safe up to 40 minutes. And um, let me go ahead and put that code in. I cannot show you all that. All right, and so you simply just boom, and it is open. Um, now I do have one of my shotguns not in there right now, um, and I got two pistols that's not in there right now. Um, so and my CG Scorpio, so I got some guns that's not in there right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, this is what the safe looks like. Um, I got some magazines and stuff up there, ammunition. Uh, three of my pistols right here. I got two of my shotguns in here, my AR. Um, my CZ is in my bag and my KSG is actually on the bed. Um, and then my Glock 19 is up here, which probably needs to go in the safe as well. So we're just going to throw that up top. But yeah, this is what the safe uh, looks like. And it's a really nice safe. Um, you got plenty of room. It holds up to 12 long guns. Um, and so, yeah, you got plenty of room, three pistol slots and yeah, you good to go. But let's go ahead and bring this back on top and let's talk about it. All right, so let's get all the way into it, man. The purpose of a gun safe, why you should actually own one. Um, number one thing for me personally is home invasions, okay? Um, especially if you're a person like me and you have a lot of firearms, that's something you want to have. Before we get into that, YouTube, this firearm is clear. I am a, in a safe control environment. Um, there's no people, nothing that will be harmed, um, in the making of this video. And it's, once again, this firearm is clear, but you know, during a home invasion, um, like I said, you know, I have a lot of firearms and, um, it kind of clicked in my head, uh, some weeks ago. I was like, you know what? I think it's time to get a gun safe because when I'm out of town, it does kind of make me paranoid. Like, dang, what if. I'm away if somebody breaks into my home. I got guns just laying around that can easily access them uh, versus, you know, having a nice size, very heavy safe to put all my long guns in. You know, it just makes sense to do that. And, um, you know, before people say, well, how are you going to get your guns if somebody break in? I'm like, well, I do leave some firearms out um, to, you know, be within my reach um, while I am home. But when I'm away, you know, I go ahead and put them bad boys up, lock them up, and, you know, it keeps them out of reach from intruders and children um that's another point you don't want to leave your firearms just out in front of kids um even if you treat even if you show them proper gun safety um you take them to the range and they know how to use a firearm kids are still kids kids get curious um especially if kids have a friend over or something like that and you know your child may know gun safety well the other child may not and they might go into that room and pick that up and they pick that firearm up and boom and hey that's that's tough you're gonna be facing probably 25 life um for you know negligence okay so this stuff is really serious so you know keeping your firearms in a safe is a very very good idea um also i just like it for the fact you know i can store my ammo in there i can store my magazines in there um you know if i got some cash and i want to put away i could put it in the safe whatever i want to put in that safe you know, I can I can put in there. And plus, it's just kind of cool going up, hitting them buttons and hitting a little vault thing, man. It make me feel like, I don't know. It just made me feel like something. <laughs> but, you know, I really do enjoy it. Um, but once again, that safe, the big one that I showed you guys is by Redfield. I got it from Academy Sports. Um, that one is not sponsored like this one. This, once again, is sponsored by Blacksmith. I also have a code... Um, in, uh, I have a code that should be popped up on the screen once again. I popped it up earlier, but it should be popped up again. You can get 20% off of this safe if you do decide to purchase it. So go check that thing out, man. Um, once again, Blacksmith, I appreciate y'all for sponsoring this video. Um, hopefully, we can do some more work in the future. But, but yeah, guys, once again, man, get you a gun safe. I don't care how big, how small it is. Get you one. Highly recommend Blacksmith. But hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Until next time, 
I'm going to holler at y'all boys. Peace. <laughs>